Hi there. This is just a quick review of my um, emergency bug out rations, MREs if you will, um, that I planned to take if there was ever an emergency that involved me to reason to me to bug out, I guess. Um, so I'll show you now. And, uh, okay, this is my um, bug out rations. Um, I have this and I have another identical one which my wife would put in her pack. Um, I've got it in this bag, it's got a handle, it's got Molly web webbing attachments on the back. So depending on how much time I had to bug out, whether um, I'd, I could put this in my bag or maybe attach it to the outside by the Molly webbing, um, if I put more stuff in, basically down to how much time I got, really. Um, in itself, you could just pick this up and go and you at least you'd have some food on the way it's a start. Um, there you go, let's have a look what's inside. Got Velcro opening and Velcro on the top. Um, the bag itself, which I made, it's got plastic and waterproof material from an old poncho I had on the inside. So when the food's gone, you could use it to put other things in. Um, when you're foraging, food, fruit, dead animal, really carry back to the camp, who knows. So that's that. Everything I have is wrapped up in plastic, plastic bags. If we do live in Wales and it does rain a bit. So there we go. Um, as I say, uh, DIY MRE 48 hour pack. Now whether it would last 48 hours would depend on who I'm bugging out with and various situations and circumstances but uh, if it was just me on my own I think I could last out a few days with just what this is so I see what's inside there is room for other items because um, it is a, a work in progress so nothing's ever finished with me as always what else could I do so there is room for other things but first of all, some toilet paper. You can never have too much toilet paper. One for the obvious reasons, and again, um, for lighting fires, when everything's wet, it's good to have some dry paper. Um, a spork from Tesco's. I think they're a pound. Um, I would plan to have a proper knife, fork and spoon, but you never know, you might lose them, and you've always got something to eat your food with. Um, what else we got? A couple of cup of soups. These are um, tomato and basil. Um, ideal for a quick hot drink. Um, two chocolate bars. Uh, usually there would be um, a Twix bar or a, a marathon bar. Who knows? All sorts of things. But I tend to end up eating them. To be honest, I have to constantly keep um, restocking them with chocolates. Something I should try to stop. A um, couple of um, three and one coffees, which again, I have a hot drink. Uh, and I bought a pack of these latte ones, which apparently were the wrong ones, but they taste alright. And again, this is a different flavour, it's still coffee. Um, a toothbrush um, in a sealed container with some toothpaste. I always get these from when we're on a plane flying to Australia and um, there are always um, loads of them in the toilets and I always got myself a handful of them because they're very useful. As I say they're sealed so they should last forever and it's always good to keep uh, oral hygiene. Ah, uh, okay well, let's go on to the, these bits. The selection here, a uh, tea bag. Um, Salt, pepper, and a sachet of sugar, again from the aeroplane. Six tablets, apparently they're like, um, take you having a Red Bull drink. Never try them, they're just there, just in case I need that sort of stimulant. And in here, we have um, oh, sterilizing tablets and neutralizing tablets. Oh, a couple of more sugars for some reason to sterilize your water. One, I've only got one tin 
there's a tin of spam. Um, ideal, you can eat it on its own, or I can. Um, ideal, chopping it up, give it a bit of body to whatever certain drinks. I have in the past had it with my cup of soup. Chopped up small, pop it in with the cup of soup, all add to the flavour. Really handy. And you go, tin. Um, a backup small lighter, just in case everything else goes, at least you'll be able to light your fire. You know, cost nothing hardly, just handy to have just another backup. And the meals um, are these. Uh, leek and ham flavoured pasta. You got to add, just add water, you know, rehydrate it all. Um, very tasty. I've had them many times in the woods, so I know they're good and full of calories. Ideal at the end of the day. <coughs> and finally, yeah, another one. So that's two main meals plus all these little snacks and stuff. As I say, usually there would be more. Maybe a packet of nuts and things to have in the daytime. So that would be my basic um, uh, bug out rations. Now you can never get, say when it's going to happen or what is going to happen. But I would say this was my original plan when I first started thinking about it. Um, but things have improved because it's not ideal, I can see that. But it's better to have something like this to start you off than have nothing. So, as I said, I've got that one and the same sort of idea in that one for the wife. And that would be the, the very minimum I would have. And I prefer these things when there wasn't much money about. And I don't really like spending loads of money on things which might happen just to have something. So recently now I have upgraded my um, whole bug out idea and I'll show you what that is now. So this is the new um, addition to my rations. Um, uh, again this is a, a work in progress. I got a proper bag which I've, I've had a, a few years but I've never really used it. I used to keep maps in it and things. But this uh, now is going to be my for my um, emergency 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 rations. So ideally, this would be on my um, belt, on my hip, on my hip belt, so that even if I lose my pack, I would still have some rations with me. And these would be the ideal. Because um, I was thinking, with this lot, you actually got to stop, um, get a fire going, use get water. Um, to rehydrate the meals, it all takes time and it also exposes you to um, people you know, people watching you. If you light the fire there's going to be smoke, people will see you and if you're bugging out it's best to stay out of sight, keep a low profile and not be spotted. So with that in mind, I um, decided to try this. Now on the outside here, briefly, there's another one of those toothbrushes just tucked in there um, again for the thing. Now, um, some biscuits. The, the, the smaller items would be um, depending on again how much time I got. This is just a, a, uh, one of these breakfast replacement meals. So I've got a couple of biscuits. They are very filling. I do not like them. So that would be that. And the um, Snickers bar. How long that's going to stay in there before I eat it, I don't know. That's that one. Uh, what else we got? Only a couple of these um, more chocolate bars. So the idea would be nibbling on them as you go along. Um, as you're bugging out. Also, if we have the time, I've got all these um, Ziploc bags. And my idea would be, um, you know, say you had a couple hours to go put nuts in them or cereal, things you can snack on as you go in so you don't have to stop just food and I've got a few of them all tucked in here ready to go so I would just you're rushing your packing you just throw a few things in the bags chuck them all in here because there is quite a lot of room in here um, but then the main meal then or the main idea because it's gonna you'll be bugging out you don't want to have a fire and you want to have a hot meal at some point. So I've got these um, 
pizza packs, which I've seen online. They're very cheap, apparently. I haven't tried them yet. They literally have only bought this a few days ago. And in here, I've got two uh, ready to eat meals. These Wayfarer meals. Um, all day breakfast and uh, chicken tikka. So the idea was at the end of the day or at some point, if you wanted a hot meal or you have a cold meal, you got these to eat. There's no um, adding water or anything like that. And we're away to go. And I got um, two of these to heat it up with. So, the only um, disadvantage I really of the ready-made meals you can eat and heat up without the flame is that they're extra weight. There's a, a significant, significant extra weight compared to this one, compared to this pack. But I think it outweighs the fact that you want to stay stealthy, you don't want to have smoke going everywhere, and it's just quicker. Because I would imagine in the first 24 hours, and you're bugging out you do not want to be stopping for too long you want to keep going as far as you can so eat on the go until you're far enough away from the danger before you can relax and settle down and when you can or when the opportunity presents itself you can have a proper fire and sort these and use these for this kit i was planning on carrying two liters of water um, at least a liter of that water would be going to um, rehydrate the food now I have an extra, I got two liters of water plus this, so it gives you an extra maybe day or so. And the hassle is, you know, we can certainly find plenty of water in Wales, but then to sterilize it, it all takes time and effort. And you really, if you're bugging out, you want to be on the move, you don't want to be hanging around. If you can help it. So there you go. So finally, guys, um, to end this vid. These two boxes here, um, to go from the watch shop, would be um, in a bug out situation. I would obviously start off in a vehicle if possible. I would just pick these two up and this is the basic um, stuff I would start with. And as go as far as possible in the car and then if it got stuck in traffic or there was some sort of roadblock or whatever, um, just take out while you can and carry what's in these boxes in the bottom box it's um foods and other bits and pieces which is like um would be good to have but not necessary and what's in the top box is the minimum that you'd have to carry i think um i say it's got the food rations in there water bottles um first aid kits and the bug out bag taps everything all ready to go um, there you are. So basically, chuck them in the back of the car, throw the wife in, and as many as the family as you can get, and head off down the road. If it was a situation where it was just, um, you'd have to leave on foot, uh, just take everything out of the top bag, put it on, and away you go. Plus, um, you know, clothing, whatever. And all the other bits you can. There you so go. there you have it. Um, it's not a complete kit. It's always um, improving. You know, I only recently thought about the um, the the meals. You know, the cold meals, the um, ones you can heat up. <coughs> and it turned out I found some cheap ones online. Um, everything there. I will be testing over the next few months. I plan to go out on a long walk with my kit. Um, see how far and how long it takes me to bug out, you know, 20 miles or whatever. And uh, I shall post a video, obviously. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Um, be very interested in your comments. Thank you. Bye.